Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our No One Gets Out Alive challenge series here in the Long Dark. Um, Alright, so we're currently holed up in Homesteader's Respite here in Ash Canyon. I'm going to go ahead and break down some of these curtains. Uh, we need to start a fire and get some water made soon. Um, but I'm just going to go and get all this cloth. Now, not all of it. I'll probably just uh, leave it at that. And then... Um, yeah, we need water. So... Not really much choice to be made here. Go and burn sticks first. This will also give me an opportunity to unload some of this heavy firewood. Come on, little fire. All right, so while this is going, um, let's go and throw a couple of these on and reclaimed. And we're gonna get rid of this torch. Ooh, look here. The tin of sardines hiding down there. Huh. What have we here? Definitely not safe to eat. We'll hang on to that and uh, maybe we'll eat it at some point. When we um, are almost certain that we're gonna end up with food poisoning or maybe when we get food poisoning from something else. Okay, so uh, let's get the water going on here, and then we can repair something. Just gotta wait this storm out at this point. And I'm so low on water that I think I'm just gonna pull this off of here and do this little bit of water. Let my water get way too low there. Let's do the same thing with this one. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, should be fine. Okay, let's drink that, and now let's actually spend our time usefully. Um, we got three minutes to wait on that. Okay, so clothing. This is at 76%, so we'll repair that. Uh, it's going to take 30 minutes. And then these... My outer hat can be repaired. Ah, right. And the thin wool sweater. Okay. So we'll start with the sweater, actually. Let's grab that. Start up some more water. And let's do the sweater. Oh, an hour? Never mind. We'll do the pants, then. Didn't realize it was going to take that long. So it gets starting to get worn out. All right, we're up to plus 15 degrees. I think the hat takes half an hour, too. Uh, let's see, if we time this just right... Let's see, there's an hour on there. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Um... Start the water and then immediately repair those pants. Or the uh, the shirt, I mean. All right, we got a successful repair off there. Be sweet. Those are just about to boil off. See how are we doing on water? Mm, can't hurt to make a little more. While that's going, I'm going to sleep. And so we want to be fully rested for this trip. This blizzard is not cooperating. Hmm. I kind of want to keep the oh, fire starving. going. Make up a few more herbal teas. Um, I guess I might as well cook these items that I'm going to be eating. The peaches and the pork and beans. Just to get rid of them.
In fact, I'm not even going to worry about the buffs from these. We're just going to eat. Got plenty of other things to use for the warming up buff. Pork and beans, next. Do the rose tea. Grab this next. It's already like early afternoon. Well, I don't know. I guess we just uh, keep this fire going until we're ready to leave. Let's do another batch of water. There's plenty more cloth here, but I really don't need it, I don't think. Oh, it's like an all-day storm. All right, we can finally get out of here. Let's take our cans. Um, I'm going to take that. Just because we use it to start our next fire. Uh, let's just put drinks down. Okay, so we're going to want at least one coffee. And let's heat up a couple of... Let's do the rose hips. And the herbal. Get all those warm. Let's do one more coffee. Okay. Figure out my inventory. We're carrying... 31.7. Prefer that number to be smaller. Um, let's drink most of the water that we need. And let's leave some water here. Obviously got too much. Um, Food-wise... Might just eat the maple syrup. I don't know, the maple syrup is pretty weight efficient, though. Not like we really need to eat that well, or that much right now. Could find a deer that we want to cook up. Yeah, I don't, I'm not carrying a lot of food while well, I'm carrying a ton of cattails. But I don't think we're going to find many more. Alright, I think I'm just going to deal with it. Um, maybe we can drop some torches. Let's just uh, drop that rather than... Oh, all these cans. Okay, so that helped a bunch. Then the torches... All those torches are really good, actually. All right, let's do this. I'm actually warming up. <laughs> it's crazy. I guess the, uh, the new repaired clothing the fact that it's, like, mid-afternoon and I've got a torch. All put together. Alright, well, I'm going to drink the coffee anyway. Preserve as much of this energy as I can. And up we go. Take a short break here. Current weight is 31. That's fine. We just have a short uh, leg to go up here. Hard to see my... There we go. Just got to wait a little bit longer for my stamina to come back for the climb. All right, there it is. Go for it. So we did that climb with the help of the coffee. It only cost us about maybe 30% of our stamina bar.
Oops. I don't want to go up that way and get a sprain. Alright, so we are in the upper area of Ash Canyon. Now this is a um, this is a pretty linear route that I'm going to be taking here. Um, but one of the nice things about it is that there are a ton of saplings. So I'm going to be able to get all the prep done for my um, maple and birch for the bow and arrows. Guess it wouldn't hurt to run a little bit now, especially since I have the coffee buff. I mean, it's completely unnecessary, but... I'd almost rather just get to where I'm going sooner, rather than preserve... my calories and time that I might end up sleeping. Okay, so this is one potential spot. And it looks like the low plant availability has actually destroyed these saplings. There were three birch there, and I get none instead. Okay. Crow's circling something over there. We've got another rope that I don't really need. Um, I guess we'll check out what they're circling. If it's a deer, I may take the time to harvest it. There's no wolves up here, so it'd actually be safe for me to just carry the meat with me for right now. Hmm. This is probably not a smart way to go through here, but I'm going to see if I can inch my way up on here. Now it doesn't look like I can. Yeah, I'm going to get myself stuck in here now. So we'll have to go around the other way. It is a deer. All right. Um, well, I don't mind coming down here then. All right, let's just quickly pull this off of here. 12 minutes with all my buffs and the fact that it's really warm. Shouldn't really cost me anything. That's like more than a thousand calories, probably. I'm not sure I can get up through there. This might be a wasted trip. No cattails or anything there. No saplings to speak of. I feel like I'm very slightly lost. There's the snow shelter. Okay, so this is the way that we would have come we would have come straight along here before. Alright, that's fine. Let's get another one of these going. Actually gonna run out of torches.
All right. It's starting to get late. I'm going to do some more running. That's just a stick. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, unfortunately, my carry capacity is going to start to go down, too, because my energy is at half. See how we're doing. Um, yeah, we're just barely over. That's fine. We can afford to um, be five over. Or just under. I'm actually warming up without the warming up buff. <laughs> just a torch in my clothes in this beautiful weather. That's crazy to me. I mean, this is like harder than Interloper, significantly. The weather is absolutely terrible, and um, it's Ash Canyon, which, you know, I don't think of as a particularly warm zone. Too far from the next place we're probably going to sleep, which is going to be at Miner's Folly. Oh, that's not a stick. So I'll do a little more running. Like I said, it's getting really late. So out of the three saplings here and the three back near where we first did the climb up, we only got one. So five out of six of them were claimed by the settings. Down to my last torch, so we need to grab some more torches when we start a fire. I believe it's just on the other side of this bridge. Um, so I think we're pretty much there. There is a bear that roams around over here, so... Uh, we're going to need to be careful because we are carrying some meat in here. Double check around the fence here. Sometimes there's like some items there. Okay, no sign of the bear as far as I can tell. Alright, let's go get on the high ground up here so that I can just peek down into this camp. I just really don't want to take a chance with this bear right now. All the meat that I'm carrying. There he is, all the way across there. Alright. Might as well take advantage of this good weather. Oh, I can actually start with a magnifying lens. I'm not going to, though. Since we already have a torch going. will lighten my load a bit. Let's uh, get these. Okay, so we got nine minutes to kill. Uh, let's loot around here. I believe this has a 50% chance to have an emergency stem in it. This will come it does. Way. This is the special invisible emergency stem. And we don't need those waterproof purification. We don't need the painkillers. I'll just leave those behind. So that's one of two stems that we're going to get in Ash Canyon. Um, and we were already, I think we we're at 80% and we already had two stems, so we we're at an effective 110%. Now we're at an effective 125% health. Pretty good for no Goa. Um, 
Okay, we'll get a fresh torch in a minute and go explore that house. Might as well go ahead and make a batch of water here. I can always leave it behind if we don't need it. Don't see the bear anymore, so I should be a little careful. Is that him there? Oh, you know what? I might have been mistaken before. I thought I saw him right there in those rocks, but that's not him. So I actually don't know where the bear is. Well, that makes me a lot more nervous than I was a few minutes ago. Alright, well, let's get in here and search this house. This is a pretty reliable spawn for this can opener. Well, this stuff will come in handy. If you want to get one early and you spawn here, just uh, be aware that it's tucked away in there. I don't think it's always there, but it's uh, very frequently there. Okay, so we got some more cloth in here. Um, wood that can be broken down. These crates don't have anything in them. We got something hiding under here. Just jeans. Might be better than the ones I've got on. I think they're identical. Yep, identical in every way. Does it say? Uh, it doesn't even give the arrows. They're like actually the same percentage. Speaking of, yeah, that's significantly worse than what we've got, so we'll just leave it behind. All right. Um, so we'll probably sleep up at the other house since um, it's got a place to have a fire in it. So I'll grab all my stuff here in a minute, and we'll head up. Let's go ahead and eat our... Did I eat that first piece? It was probably really... It was like 0.2 pounds, or, or um, 0.2 kilograms. Alright, so let's just take that, pick that up. Um, I don't really need this fire for any... Oh, we said we were going to get um, torches. What's the significance of that music? That was odd. This is actually a great opportunity to convert excess fuel into decent torches. So I'll probably get like six to eight of them here. Okay, another thing I want to do while I've got a nice uh, fire going here and I'm not too tired. Let's just throw a couple of these on there. Let's throw a book on. Um, drink some water. I'm just going to stand here and do some repairs. I guess I'll even make up some more water. Okay, so we want to repair this. See what else there is. Um, I think we said, yeah, we're going to repair this ski jacket. That was a big thing. Okay, so the ski jacket is the main thing that needs it at this point. And then the other thing is the... I 
guess the thin wool sweater could use a repair. So this is going to take um, 45 minutes. So we can do another batch of water. Okay, so that brought it up to 55%. We can do that again. I'm hoping this wind will die down and I can carry a torch into this other house. Otherwise, maybe we'll just sleep um, right here tonight. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Since I know exactly where the bed is in there. All right, let's go ahead and repair uh, this again. Man, unlucky. Um, well, we've got an aurora, which means we're probably going to be able to see inside anyway. Wind is a little heavy for my tastes. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Speaking of heavy, let's just leave some water here. we got way too much. Um, I'm not going to bother making any more. We'll just pick these up. All right, let's try this one more time. Damn, it's costing me two cloth every time I do it, too. Well, it's nice and calm. We can go inside now. Be able to see what we're doing. And uh, loot up that place. Gotta be aware that the ah. bear is going to be supercharged. Okay. Gotta figure out where he is before he figures out where I am. I don't see any sign of him. There he is. He's pretty far away. That uh, green glow. Crazy. Alright, um, there's a little cave over here that I'm going to check while we're kind of passing through. This glare from the torch is making it hard to see anything. You know what? Let's just um, carry this. Okay, so nothing here but a bed. Doesn't seem to be anything else around. Where the heck is the door to this place? Have I already walked past it like five times? Here it is. All right. More and more food. Uh, we could have a fire going in here, but we definitely don't need one. We got tons of water. There we go. Work beats. Hope nobody needs this anymore. All right. I'm going to carry these with me. Um, we'll figure out what we're going to do between the work and the combat boots at some point. I think I'm going to keep both. Let's, um, I guess we'll keep this torch going. We really don't need it. There's enough light in here with the aurora, but sometimes I miss things if it, it's not well illuminated, so. Okay. I think we got everything in this front area. Nothing in that crate. Nothing in this crate. I'll take it. Another toque. 
Um, we can carry it with us. Alright, so nothing really in here besides the work boots. Nothing to write home about. Fair enough. Let's, um... Let's see, how did my cloth situation end up after all those pieces of cloth I wasted? Went five. Alright, I'm gonna put this out. I don't need it for looting anymore. Um, let's figure out what we're doing for food tonight. Got so much food, I need to actually look at the list. Okay, so as far as canned food, we found some more food. This can be eaten. And this can be eaten. We're actually starting to accumulate. We got three cans of food here. Um, this is actually safe to eat. Let's go and do that. Yeah, we've got these two sardines, two peaches, and one dog food that are all in food poisoning territory. So we could eat those all at once. Um, the other thing I might do is just drop all of them and never eat food poisoning food because uh, we just don't need to. We've got so much other food. Um, that's definitely a possibility. Even in, like, even if I immediately take the herbal tea or the um, the reishi tea and sleep. I might still lose, like, a point of condition or something if I get food poisoning. All right, let's drink um, some water. I'm thinking about... I want to do some clothing repair, but I need to get at least a little bit of sleep first. So let's um, sleep for two hours. If the Aurora is still going, I'll try to repair that one item again. The one that kept failing me. All right. Fifth time's the charm. Oh. How's it dark? Did the aurora stop? I guess it must have. Alright, well, I'll just, um, since I'm clearly not in the dark, I'll just grab some of these curtains. be a while before I find another source of cloth. I think this is kind of the last one, so I'm just going to go and grab all of it. Um, maybe we'll leave one window. Let's see, we got two, four, six, eight, and then like another three, so we should have about close to 20 by now, I think. Um, yeah, we probably don't need any more than that. Okay, it looks like the Aurora might have picked back up again. Let's see if it'll let me do this now. Or maybe the lighting is just weird. No, it's just saying I can't repair in the dark. Alright, well, whatever. We'll just sleep. We'll do it some other time. Go and get six hours. Now, we don't necessarily need a lot of energy for this next leg of the journey. I'm going to sleep for just two more hours. And then if the weather holds, I think I might head out now. Yeah, it sounds like we're going to have good travel weather out there. So let's go see what the deal is with the bear. Um, depending on the weather, I might not even start a fire. Get rid of that.
All right, where is this bear? Don't hear anything. Alright, let's make a plan of action here. Um, we've got 2.27 liters, that seems good. I could start a fire here, but there's no need. Um, I think I actually want to carry one of those extra toques with me, just because if one gets damaged, I'll have an extra one around. So let's uh, step in here for a second. And then we might as well get fully warm before we leave. And then we can start a fire somewhere else if we need to. Where did I drop that toque? There it is. And it's in about the same condition as the other one. Alright, um, let's just sleep for an hour. I can get the extra energy anyway, and then we'll head out. Sounds like the wind has picked up very slightly. Isn't necessarily a bad thing. Maybe the fog has cleared a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Let's uh, step inside. Don't really feel like dealing with that bear. That was pretty funny. I don't know if you saw it, but um, as soon as I clicked on the door, the animation changed back to him just walking. So he was like in the middle of his little leaping roar thing, and then he just forgot I existed while the door was opening. Um, I do want to go. It's really warm out there, so let's just uh, peek out while crouched. Ah, he's detected me. All right, let's just get inside. I'm really tempted to shoot him. But uh, instead, I'm going to sleep for an hour. And now it's going to be windy. Not nearly as nice traveling weather. All right, let's try this again. He should be in a completely different location, because it's been an hour. Okay, got my stuff. Uh, let's keep moving. It's a nice clear day. If we get up to the bear cave and he's not there, we can start a fire in there. Yeah, he's behind me. Perfect. All right. Um, actually, I might not even need to start a fire here. It's not too far to that other cave, and we can just go in there and get warmed up. So basically just on the other side of that bridge. Alright, we can put this away. We know where the bear is. Uh, let's get inside this cave so that we can be warming up, or at least not losing temperature as fast. Um... I don't think I'm going to make it. Let's just see. Magnifying lens isn't going to work here. Let's go forward a little bit. I get to the part where I'm walking faster. And I'm still wind sheltered. Okay, I think that's going to be here. Let's just see if I can find a spot. Come on, anything relatively flat? Can you give me something? Nope, still no chance with the magnifying lens. I mean, the sun is right there. Are you not going to let me have this? There we go. Start fire, 95% chance. The bear was a ways off, so I'm not too concerned about him. Come on, little fire. <sighs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, let's just use sticks for this fire. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And I don't want to stick around for a long time, so we're going to use the... Um, let's do this um, food. We've got... Huh, I thought I had some, like, cooked canned food that I could... Nope. Okay, whatever. Um, well, let's just go ahead and make a couple of teas or something then. Gotta get rid of this herbal tea that's in bad shape. Ooh, the weather sounds really nice. Very hesitant to pass time on this when that bear could be coming around the corner soon. Go take a look. Not yet, at least. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat the... Maple syrup. Let's do it. Okay, five minutes on these. All right, we're coming up on the end of the episode, so what I'm going to do is uh, let's head over to that cave. Um, I'm not sure I can carry much more. I'm going to get warmed up with one of these right now. I'll have a couple of backups. And we'll start off in the next episode uh, coming out of this cave with a fresh torch and the warming up buff. Ooh, there's a flare here. Yeah, I figured I would find more of this. That's why I decided to leave so many behind. Wow, look at the temperature. Negative seven. Well, one arrow down. So nice here. Early clothing is so strong. Like, just um, moving around the map really quickly and finding all the top tier clothes and repairing them to close to 100. Um, I watch some other people play, and one thing that I see people do that I just don't understand is they repair clothing that isn't top tier. Like, they repair, like, t-shirts and the jeans and stuff, and it just doesn't make sense to me. It's like, first of all, you're going to find improved clothing. Like, even if it's not top tier, um... Like, I think, I, I don't know if it was this episode or last, but, um, our other shirt that was not a thin wool sweater, we had a, we had one on that was giving us, like, 0.3, and then we found a higher condition one that gave us 0.5. Um, and, like, that didn't cost me anything. So, I don't know, just a little thing that I noticed that I think is a pretty nice efficiency to make use of. All right, I don't know how much we're going to explore this cave, but we'll do it in the next episode. Um, I might just go and grab a little bit of coal, uh, maybe see if there's... I think there's a camp near the entrance here that we might be able to loot. Uh, but apart from that, it's pretty nice outside, so we're probably just going to turn right back around and head out there. We've got our all of our warmth buffs, so this is a good time to use them. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>